What's the crack lads? Welcome back to our third and final training guide for the epic Netherlands. We have already covered Snyder and Cruyff and Davids uh, is going to be up next. So this Davids here is, I would say, slightly worse than the epic version that they released. We'll have a look at that in a second because he has less levels to go, obviously. Um, so I do think that there is a few things to kind of look at here. But what I do like about this Davids is obviously his stamina is huge and that's where the game has kind of gone at the moment. But the rest of his stats, look, he's still a monster. Does he replace Makalele for me if I spin him? I'm doubtful. I think Makalele is still the best, but we are going to have two versions of him here. So looking at his stats there, the things that we want to highlight and upgrade on this pack are, or on this player are going to be his defensive stats, his passing stats and his, his uh, strength stats. So his speed and his acceleration. We don't really need to focus too much on his dribbling if we're playing him as a box-to-box -box destroyer slash anchorman defensive midfielder, right? If we are playing him defensively, you know, you're going to have to rely on um, a lot of his stats here being upgraded, his defensive awareness and tackling and aggression, and also his player skills themselves. So fighting spirit, man, mark, and interception. But this guy, I think, is probably better suited as kind of like kind of a mixture between both and I'm going to show you how I've trained both versions of him um so we are going to start with a defensive version so the first up we do have a 95 overall DMF with Davids he's going to get a boost obviously with the team playstyle set at over 97 um I do like this card defensively obviously we're going to max out the defendant 14 stats into defendant to get his aggression and defensive engagement up as high as we can I would like tackling to be 90, but I don't think it should come at the cost of, you know, acceleration and speed, especially with the way that this card is built. Now, if I was training this guy with a specific, you know, anchorman kind of role in mind, I would potentially add a few more here, but you're going to have to take a lot uh, down on the rest of his card. And I just think it kind of kills this card to get that defense stat anywhere higher than this. But 14 in the defendant is pretty decent. Um, you could obviously take down, you know, four of them. You're still not going to get the, the tackling at 90. Um, so you would need to kind of reduce this twice here. And then you would be able to get it, right? But is it going to be worked at? Potentially as a 94 DMF, yes. Defensively, he is going to be a monster. But I do think that having a little bit more well-rounded is probably key to the, getting the best out of this card. So 80 speed, 90 acceleration, 97 stamina. 88 balance 80 ball control 81 low pass we've completely ignored passing here with this defensive midfielder version of him um defensive minded and then he's going to have 92 aggression 92 defensive engagement 88 tackling and 81 defensive awareness so very decent card he's obviously defensive minded um he's going to be built just to kind of break up play and um we're going to take a look obviously at an offensive minded guy now in a second so I think players that would be suited to this role is if you have got a lot of really good center midfielders, like if you've got Goretzka, if you've got Barilla, um, if you're playing players in this role that you don't really need, uh, you know, Davids to be like, you know, offer anything going forward, um, then I definitely think defensively is the way to go with him. You still have a 90 acceleration with 92 aggression and 97 stamina and ball control and low pass 80 and 81. That's huge coupled with these player skills he also has a couple of lovely player skills here you can stick man marking on him and just mop up everything in a sweeper role as a center back type player now offensively this is kind of how i would build him right we're still going to not completely neglect defense because we want that aggression and tackling up over the 80 mark so as high as you can get that on the 80 is going to help you block a load of passing lanes he doesn't have blockers of player skills so i think if you're using him because he's short you do need to kind of overcompensate i think with the defensive stats even on an attack and build such as this. But we are going to pump in 8 into passing and 10 into dribbling, 8 into dexterity. We still want to keep the offensive awareness below the defensive awareness, even though this is our offensive build. I'm not talking about having an offensive build that you're going to be running the length of the pitch and banging them in. This is an offensive-minded DMF that you're going to be getting forward every now and again while you have a bit of protection with either your CMF or another double-pivot DMF beside him right so i will do more of that on the live stream you probably have seen i'll be i'll be streaming thursdays and fridays so you'll see me kind of i'll talk about that in more detail but we have not neglected the defendant as i said but we have boosted up his dribbling and passing to bring that low pass up to 89 and the dribbling up to 80 tight possession is going to be key on this card because we want to be able to control the ball when we get it with him so they're both versions of it look people will probably complain because this was 
uh, a version that they released way back when and it's it's a far superior card 39 levels he starts off at 82 overall but he's got a you know from his base interception and blocker as well as fighting spirit sliding tackle and acrobatic clearance this guy was just a defensive juggernaut man i mean you put 14 stats into this guy similar to what we did with the defensive build here and instead of 81 88 92 and 92 you've got 88 92 98 96 so there's a big difference in that now obviously with the dexterity if we're going to go 90 on that um it's probably a bit too high on that we still have 90 on that we can match that we can match 80 on that and then the low passing and everything else is going to be pretty much identical um but it's all about those stats there um that we're going to be having like that is a far superior card in my opinion except for the physical contact is going to be a bit lower so that's kind of where they've gone with the with the cards you know even you could get away with this and pump the physical contact up massively you're still going to have a, a very 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 good player so if you have this juventus version i don't know what i recommend the netherlands version they're slightly different um obviously this player has a little bit more ability going forward with the ball control and stuff but look it is what it is and uh that's kind of how they've kind of been balancing the cards now so that is it for me lads just a quick one on davits the training guide we've completed them now for all the netherlands packs giving you multiple options for your play style and yeah that is it i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe peace